I wonder what Buster and Digger are doing. <laughs> wow, who painted that? Looks like you guys want some ice cream. <gasps> Digger, <laughs> that is one big ice cream cone. Oh look, here comes Iggy, the ice cream truck. Buster and Digger want Iggy to help make them the giant ice cream. Now let's see. Oh, cherries. Mmm, that's a delicious flavor. Let's pick that. Wow, look at all that ice cream. Right, next we need a blue ice cream. Blueberries? Perfect! <laughs> That is looking so good, Buster! Okay, yellow next. Bananas, good choice! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you want more? Okay, this has to be the last flavor, otherwise it will be too big. Apple it is. This is going to be one tasty ice cream. <laughs> One last effort, Iggy. That ice cream looks quite wobbly. Steady as you go, Digger. Robin has come to get Scout so that she can find out what Buster and Digger have made for her birthday. You better follow Robin, Scout. Whoa. Happy birthday, Scout! <laughs> That is the biggest ice cream I have ever seen! Oh no, Digger! Watch out, Scout! That was close. <laughs> Blow the candle out, Scout. Now you can all tuck into the ice cream. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> hey there, Buster. Looks like a hot day out in the desert. Whoa, look at that ahead. A big mountain with smoke rising from the top. What was that? It's Frida the sports car. She's speeding off toward the Smoky Mountain. I think she wants to race. Buster and Rita are speeding across the desert together. Rita is faster. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Buster is using that ramp to jump after Rita. Phew, that was a fun race to the top. But look, what's that? Hot molten lava? I think this is a volcano. It could erupt at any moment. Uh-oh, Buster, careful of that rock. Oh no, it's fallen into the lava. Phew, nothing happened. Oh no, I think the volcano is erupting. Quick, guys, get out of there. Oh no, there are fireballs shooting out of the volcano. Look out! They'll be really hot. Oh no, Rita is stuck in the sand. Buster is being brave and going to help his new friend. Great job, Buster. Now quickly, drive away. Faster, faster! Phew, that was a close one. Here's Ashley the fire truck. She doesn't look pleased. She's going to have to put out all the fire. Buster and Rita aren't saying anything. They didn't mean to set the volcano off. That was close, but Buster made a brand new friend along the way. Bye, Buster. Bye, Rita. It's another exciting day at school for Buster and his friends. Today, they are making Mother's Day cards. Look. Teacher is showing them how to do it. Fold it in half and make a crease. Well done, Buster. But what is Bandit up to? Wow, look at all those decorations. Let's craft. Oh, Bandit, he's turned his card into a paper airplane and it's gone flying. Buster starting with some glue. Oops, the glue is stuck to his wheel. And now there's glitter everywhere. Oh dear, Buster. The glue just won't budge. Hmm, what can Buster use to remove the glue? Aha, a spoon. Nope, that didn't work. Uh-oh, and now the spoon is stuck to his other wheel. 
Buster asks Scout for some help. Scout tries to pull off the glue bottle. Nope, that didn't work either. Oh no, now Scout is stuck as well. Watch out, Scout. Oh dear, this isn't going to plan. Bandit is finding all of this very funny. And the poor teacher is too distracted by Bandit's plane, he can't see what's going on. Oops, they've knocked over Ash's water. But hang on, the water has loosened the spoon. Buster has an idea. Ash is using his hose to unstick the glue. Hooray, it worked. Oh dear, what a mess. Mommy Bus is here to take Buster home. And look, Buster is giving her the special Mother's Day card. She loves it. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy Bus. Uh-oh, not again. Buster and his friends are at school. And today, they have a very special visitor. It's Mommy Fire Truck. Hooray! <laughs> She's here to show them what a fire truck does. When a building is on fire, you have to call a firefighter as quick as you can. What happens next? A hose is attached to a water hydrant and the water puts out the fire. Yippee! It's time to practice. They have to knock the cones over with a jet of water. Ash is first. Yay! Well done, Ash! And Scout? Oops. That's better. Well done! Now it's Buster's turn. Wow! Watch out, Buster! That was a great day. But now Mommy Fire Truck needs to get to work. Goodbye, Mommy Fire Truck. Thank you. Now it's the end of the day, and Buster is heading home. Bye, Scout. Bye, Ash. <gasps> what is that? It's smoke. Where could it be coming from? <gasps> oh no, it's a fire! What should Buster do? He needs a firefighter. Buster is getting Mommy Fire Truck to help. Teacher will take care of Ash. Go, Mommy, go! There's the fire. Aha! And there's a water hydrant. Next step, attach the hose. Oh no, quick! Phew! The fire is out. Yippee! What great teamwork! It's the next day at school. Teacher is calling Buster up to the front. What could it be for? Look! Mommy Fire Truck! She's here to thank Buster for all his help and award him with a special fire truck hat. Go, Buster! Buster is having so much fun playing on his drum kit. Oops, there goes a drumstick. It's rolling over to Mommy. Hmm, what's Mommy doing? Oh, she's clearing out all Buster's old toys, the ones he doesn't use anymore. I wonder what's inside. Look, Buster's baby drum. He remembers that. Mommy is going to recycle it so someone else can enjoy it. Buster is sad, but he has a bigger, better drum kit now. But Buster wants to keep his little drum. He doesn't like to let go. Here's Scout with her tambourine. She's come round to play. Hooray! Time to make some music. Buster and Scout are ready to play. And here's Ash, too. He's come to listen. Now Buster and Scout have an audience. They're ready to rock. One, two, three, four. Nice. 
Buster and Scout are really grooving. Nice work, guys. Scout shakes the tambourine. Buster bangs the drums. Oh, he's trying to play his little drum at the same time. That doesn't work so well. He's trying to do too much at once. Oops. Aw, Ash wants to join in. But he doesn't have an instrument. And Buster has one too many. What's he going to do? Buster is giving his little drum to Ash to play. Now Ash can play along. And all three of them can have fun. Ready? One, two, three, four. There. That sounds even better than before. At the end of the day, Ash is going to give the drum back. But Buster knows he doesn't need two drums. He wants Ash to keep it. Ash is so happy. What a kind thing Buster did. Buster looks so excited. I wonder why. A storybook. Buster wants Mommy to read to him. Buster loves a good fairy tale. Mommy's reading Buster the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. When the bears had gone out, Goldilocks came to the window. She tried their porridge, but the first bowl was too hot. Buster thinks that's very funny. But look at the time. Mommy can't read all day. Buster's upset. He wants to know what happens next in the story. But Mommy knows what to do. Maybe Grandpa can read to Buster? Grandpa is out watering the plants, but Buster wants him to read more of the storybook. Yes, Grandpa can read to him for a bit. He loves stories of great adventures and brave heroes. What's happening now? Goldilocks sits on a chair that's too small, and it breaks. How funny. Buster loves this story. But what's this? Mommy says it's time for dinner. The rest of the story will have to wait. Buster has some nice fish fingers and vegetables for dinner. But he's eating them all really fast. He wants to get back to the story as soon as possible. Hmm. Mommy and Grandpa are still eating. They can't read to him right now. Buster really wants to know what happens next. Look! He's trying to read it himself. He's not very good at reading, but he's trying really hard. Wow! He's getting it! Mommy and Grandpa are so proud of him. Good job, Buster. But, oh dear, he's getting sleepy too. Mommy's reading the book to Buster as a bedtime story. Now Goldilocks is asleep in the bear's bed. Oh, look, Buster has fallen asleep. Aw, he'd had such a busy day, he couldn't stay awake for the end. Good night, Buster. Buster and Scout are on their way home from school. Bye, Scout. What's Buster spotted? Oh, look, it's Diggly and Daisy. Buster wants to help. But safety first. Look at that awesome builder's hat. Buster is helping them move a crate off Rocky the Riverboat. Great teamwork, guys. Now they're placing the crate on the construction site. Mr. Rubble is off to get some lunch. See you later, Mr. Rubble. Oh, no! The crate is sinking into the mud! Go, Buster, go! Oh, no! Now Buster is stuck in the mud as well! Daisy to the rescue! Nope, that didn't work! What's that? Diggly is hooked up to that crane. And he's pulling Buster out. It's working. Just a little bit more. Oops. Now they're all stuck. And Mr. Rubble hasn't noticed. But Buster's got a plan. He's wrapping the wire around the crane and attaching it to the crate so they can pull themselves out. Brilliant idea, Buster! Jiggly and Daisy are both pulling the rope at different times. But they need to work together.
<laughs> That's it! <laughs> Hooray! It worked! Oh. <gasps> Mr. Rubble still hasn't noticed them. So they quickly pull the crate out. Everything is back to normal. <laughs> well, not quite back to normal. They're all covered in mud. It's time to get cleaned up. Mr. Rubble is spraying them with the hose. There, that's much better. <laughs> now it's time for a spot of lunch. Yum, yum. But what's that? Mr. Rubble has driven straight into the mud. Don't worry, Mr. Rubble. They know just what to do. Buster is so excited to go play with his best friend, Scout. What'll they play today? Ooh, Grandpa has a remote-controlled car. Buster's going to control it first. Vroom, vroom. Look at it go. Now Scout wants to go. But Buster wants to keep driving. Uh-oh. Scout doesn't think that's fair. She wants a turn. Oh, dear. Now they're fighting over the remote. They both want to control the toy car. Oh no! The car crashed and broke! <gasps> now nobody can play with it. Buster and Scout are upset with each other. They're not playing anymore. It's so sad when friends argue. But wait, I think Grandpa has an idea. <laughs> He's giving the remote to Scout and the toy car to Buster. They'll need to work together to fix it. Aw, oh, now they've made up. Friends always forgive each other. There! Now they can both control the car. Look, it's Buster, Scout, and Diggly. It's Christmas Eve, and they're excited for Santa to arrive with the presents. Time for bed, guys. Santa won't come if you're still wide awake. Uh-oh, it's that sneaky villain bandit bus. What's he up to this time? There's Santa, putting the presents under the tree. He must be very busy tonight. Oh no! Bandit is stealing all the presents from under the tree. What a villain he is! Now he's sneaking away. Whoops! Serves Bandit right. What's he seen now? The golden Christmas star. He's going to steal that as well. Oh dear. He's trying to pull it right off the tree. Look! Now Bandit is all tangled up. It'll take him ages to get untangled. It's taken all night, but Bandit is finally free. Now he's sneaking away with the presents. Oh. Oh, poor Buster. All the presents have been stolen. He looks so upset. Bandit really is the worst. But wait, what's this? What's Bandit doing? Look, Bandit is putting all the presents back under the tree. Maybe he's not so mean after all. All the presents are there after all. Buster is so happy. Merry Christmas! <laughs> There's Santa. He doesn't look very pleased with Bandit. But what's this? He puts a present for Bandit under the tree, too. Bandit earned it by giving the presents back. You 
did the right thing, Bandit. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> it's a cold winter's night. What's Buster up to? Oh, wow! A drawing of some fireworks. Buster's so excited because tonight he's going to a real fireworks display. But wait, he's forgotten something. A nice warm hat. <laughs> There. Now it's time to go and watch the fireworks. <laughs> oh, what's that? Fireworks make loud noises. Oh, dear. They frightened Buster. He doesn't like loud noises. Aw, poor Buster. He's shaking. What's Mommy doing? Oh, Buster's toy car makes loud noises. But that's not scary. What's that loud oh. noise? It's Grandpa with a soccer whistle. Buster loves soccer. He doesn't oh. mind that loud noise either. <laughs> What's that loud noise? Huh? Oh, it's popcorn popping. Buster <laughs> loves popcorn. He doesn't mind that noise. <laughs> wow, the fireworks are so pretty. <sighs> Maybe loud noises aren't so bad after all. <laughs> Buster's going to give it another try. <laughs> Whoa! Look at those colorful fireworks. 